Hey, what's happening guys? Today we are going to be looking at one of these Arduino keypads. And the nice thing about these is they're cheap, like dirt cheap. I got a two pack of these from Amazon. And let's zoom in here so you guys can see this. 4x4 matrix array 16 key Arduino blah 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 blah. There's the uh, code. They are really simple to use. Take a look here. You see you have a nice ribbon cable. And at the end of the ribbon cable, you have a little uh, female connector that will fit your DuPont cables. And we've got eight separate connectors in the ribbon cable. So let's zoom in here a little more. Now, as we look across, you can see that four of them are white and four are marked black. And they simply hook up to your rows and columns. And we'll take a look at that when we go into the code to show you exactly how it goes. But what I've done here is just rigged up a really simple test rig to show you guys how simple this is to use. So we've got an Uno here, and we've got the keypad plugged into pins digital 2 through digital 9. So four columns, or four pins for the columns, four pins for the rows. Then I've got this little OLED here hooked up. It's I squared C, so it's going into A4 and A5. Now... Let's go take a look at the code as to how you can use this to read key presses. And when we come back, we'll take a look at this in action. And uh, I think you'll be amazed at just how easy this is to use and what kind of functionality you can add to your sketches with this. All right, here we go. This is the code for the Arduino 4x4 keypad. So we've got three libraries. We have keypad.h, which handles the input from the keypad. Wire, because we're using that I squared C OLED display. And the Adafruit SSD 1306, which of course is the OLED display. They include this in their example, so I include it here, but nothing is uh, attached. Now we're going to create an instance of the Adafruit SSD 1306 called lowercase display. We're going to create a couple of variables here for rows and columns. You need to set this for your keypad, whether you have a 3x4 or a 4x4. And then we're going to create a two-dimensional array called keys, which is defined with rows and columns. And then we're going to map out the variables here. Now we have a byte called row pin, which hooks up with columns. I mean, <laughs> row pins, which hooks up with rows. And these are where our row pins are plugged in, 5, 4, 3, 2. And then we have call pins, which hooks up with columns. And this is where our columns are plugged in, 9, 8, 7, 6. And then we're going to create an instance of keypad called lowercase keypad. And we're going to make a key map, which will output a variable called keys, row pins, row columns, rows, columns. See how that works? Pretty simple. Next we're going to begin our display at this hex variable. In my case, in your case it may be OX3D. If one doesn't work, try the other. We'll print the little Adafruit logo and hit clear display because Lady Ada writes all this stuff for free and puts it out there for us to use. So it's my way of saying thanks. Next, in our main loop, we are going to set our text size as 3. Our text color is white. We don't really have any other choice. Put the cursor in the upper left. Then we're going to have a character variable called key. And it will use the function keypad get key. And this is going to wait for you to press it. And then if you press it, so if key, we're going to clear the display, print the key, and then show it. That's it. Easy peasy, right? All right, let's go. All check right, it let's out. power everything up here. 
everything's slippery here so I gotta kind of hold it down a little bit but as you can see once we press a button boom there's your number let me see if I can use my other hand here make this easy okay there we go now you guys could be able to see it better two three four five six seven eight nine a b c d star and number sign really simple to use uh, another nice thing about this is it comes with an adhesive backing that you can peel off and stick um, boy I got lots of ideas for this we can make some really cool projects here and I think maybe the first one we're going to tackle is an Arduino controlled radio so take a look at this let's zoom in here this is an a squared or a squared uh, this is an I squared C FM radio breakout board and it is based on this little I see here which is the SI 4703 now it's controlled through I squared C imagine you know you want to listen to a station one oh two five boom volume up you know volume down I think we're gonna have some really cool projects with the keypad guys I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you next time.